Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome back to Dixie's Storytime World. And we're going to listen to another story about Elma, the patchwork elephant. This story is called Elma Again. Elma, the patchwork elephant, was bored. It was two days before another Elma's Day Parade, the day when elephants cover themselves with bright patterns. The colours were ready and the elephants were quietly thinking about how they would decorate themselves. Elma didn't have to think. He was always coloured grey for the parade, the only grey elephant. Time for a walk, he said to himself. As he walked, Elma thought, it's too quiet around here. We need a joke or something to liven things up. He came to a pool and looked at his reflection. Hello, Elma, he said to himself in the water. You've just given me a good idea. Thank you. When he returned, the others were still quietly thinking. Elma went up to one of them and whispered in his ear. The other elephant smiled and winked, but said nothing. Elma settled down for a rest. He had a long night in front of him. When night fell, Elma waited until the others were asleep. Then, taking care not to wake them, he set to work. Before sunrise, he had finished, and he tiptoed off to another part of the forest to sleep for what was left of the night. In the morning, the first elephant to wake looked at his neighbour and said, Good morning, Elma. One after another, the elephants woke, and as they did, from every direction came, Good morning, Elma. 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 And so on. During the night, Elma had painted all the elephants to look like him. Now there were Elmas everywhere, and nobody knew which was the real one. Then the elephants started to speak to each other and say things like, Are you Elma? I don't know. The other might say, I might be today, but I'm sure I wasn't yesterday. Then one of the elephants called out, This is another Elma trick. Come on, let's splash across the river and wash off the colours. Then we'll see who the real Elma is. The elephants raced to the river and splashed and splashed their way to the other side. Once on the other side, the elephants stared. They were all grey. Where's Elma? they asked. Here, of course, said a grey elephant. Don't you recognise me? But you're the same colour as us, gasped the others. So I am, said Elma. Wonderful, I always wanted to be like you. This is awful, said another elephant. Elma can't be like the rest of us. Things won't be the same without an Elma. Well, there's nothing I can do about it, said Elma, unless... What, said the others. Well said Elma. The colours that washed off are still floating on the water. Perhaps if I run back through them, I may return to normal. Try it, shouted the others. Try anything to get your colours back. Yahoo, called Elma, and he raced across the river and vanished into the trees on the other side. Almost at once, he reappeared, puffing and panting, but once again, in his bright patchwork colours. Hurrah! cheered the elephants from across the river. It worked! We've got our Elma again! With that, the elephants started chanting, Elma! 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 Beside Elma, another elephant suddenly appeared from out of the trees. Did you call? he asked. The other elephants were like silent instead. This other elephant was soaking wet, as if he had just run across the river. On top of that, both Elma and the other elephant were laughing. You tricked us, said one elephant to the wet grey elephant. You were working with Elma and pretended to be him. We should have known Elma's colours wouldn't wash off. It's another Elma trick. With that, the whole herd of elephants burst out laughing and running back into the river. They started to splash the two Elmas and each other and once again they chanted, Elma, Elma! Elma, 
and so the whole jungle shook with their noisy game. 